how do you access some um, array elements? Well, uh, the answer is you use an index, and um, the index has to be uh, a positive integer, or of course zero. Um, and uh, if the index is of a, a particular type that needs uh, widening, you're allowed to widen it as well to, to be an integer. So here's an example. Um, so one-dimensional array here, and um, you're setting the fifth element to be equal to uh, my array offset to that. And um, that, of course, is a character literal, and uh, so it's widened. And that's quite OK. But uh, here's an example down here where we've got uh, a type long here. And um, even though it's zero, uh, you can't use it because it's long and it'll give a compiler error because it has to be an integer. So that's not allowed. Uh, you could, of course, um, cast it to an integer. Um, and that would work. Um, here's an example here which, um, surprisingly enough, um, will compile, even though that's minus one. And uh, when you run it, it will, if it executes that at all, it will give uh, a runtime error. And uh, that actually is quite surprising because you think it would trap that, but uh, the compiler doesn't. It lets that through. Right. Um, here's an example with uh, a few more dimensions. Um, so here we're creating the array here, and uh, the middle dimension there is uh, length zero. And uh, the effect of that is to prevent access beyond that uh, that index there. So you, you can't get beyond that uh, zero. Basically, you can't access anything down there. So uh, you can do something like this. Uh, that's quite okay. Um, uh, but you can't do that because uh, you can't actually reference anything out there because zero is too big. It uh, hasn't got anything in it, so you can't access it. So you can't supply any. There's nothing you can supply in there which will satisfy that. So um, one question that arises is what actually happens when you have a zero index stuck in the middle here somewhere. <coughs> Now here's an example. I've got a very, uh, very high dimensional thing here, and uh, I've got zero there, and I've set this up to max value for an integer, which is two to the power thirty-one minus one. So it's quite big. So if it had created all this lot, and you do the calculations, you end up with, and if this lot had ever been created, it would be uh, larger its size would be larger when you multiply all this out larger than the number of atoms in the universe that's why I've chosen that to be a particular size and uh, however you can do this and you don't get any error at all it's quite happy uh, because the virtual machine in fact when you look at the specification for it you see as it's specified it does not allocate space after the first zero is encountered and once it finds that, it's no space is allocated for anything else. Uh, because, in fact, there's no way to access any element that might be out here, because you can't get beyond that point. However, um, V is, however, certainly not of type T array or T array of an array. It's not of any of those two types. It's of that type, not of that type or that type, even though you can't get out there. And um, you look at something like this. Uh, uh, you can do something like that. Where if you calculate all these out, I've, I've dropped uh, I've dropped some brackets off here, so that that's quite okay because um, that is uh, actually going to be of uh, SV is going to be of zero length because I'm allocating all of that lot basically. So that's quite okay because uh, SV is a, a, an array of an array of an array and so on and so forth. Because that's two, four, six, eight, ten, and that should be eleven. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, that's eleven. 